Hello everyone, Lisa here. I am so excited. We just got back from the flea market this afternoon in Gloucester, Virginia. The flea market is called the Stagecoach. So if you're ever on the eastern part of Virginia and you drive through Gloucester and it's the weekend, I highly suggest you check it out. They had quite a few uh, vendors there today. And I have a little bit of a different kind of video for you today. Uh, you know that I love everything quilting and uh, that I love to make journals. And so all of my finds from today will be either used in quilts or um, one of my journals. So you see this sitting here. We're going to go through my finds. <laughs> when I saw this, I just knew I had to have it. It is an Easton printed copy of Little Women. It is a leather bound book and it's never been opened. <laughs> Miss Joanne, you are free to watch through the video. Uh, and I won't mess with this book yet. But if you're excited to see what I'm going to do with this book, stay tuned to the end of the video. But look at this. It's gold leafed. And that is the back. The pages are gilded gold. And I'm going to set this off to the side until the end. <laughs> Next we have this little brooch. And I love everything cameos. And if it can focus. There we go. This, I do believe, I can't decide if I want to use this on a quilt or if it'll go on the cover of a journal, but I absolutely love that. So pretty. All right, we are moving on. This I got for myself, <laughs> and this will go on our refrigerator, right? I saw this, I knew I had to have it. <laughs> This was a dollar. <laughs> the brooch I got for three dollars. I found these postcards and let's refocus. Postcards and vintage photos for my journals. Let me see if I can bring you down some. There we go. That's better. I love old photographs and look at these. Don't you just love their clothing? These, I guess, were negatives. And I got all of these for less than a dollar a piece. Aw, look at her hair. So pretty. I'm thinking of doing like a journal series of little women and including their photograph in their journals. Wouldn't that be so awesome? She looks very scholarly. <laughs> Look at this little girl. Oh, I love her. Standing on the staircase. I love that so much. This is the back. The back is almost just as interesting as the front, don't you think? And this is the last one. And that's the back of this one. So I'm thinking I'm going to use those in journals. I love the size. I love the way they feel. I love everything about them. And then I found some postcards. And he gave me a really good deal on these. These were also less than a dollar each. This might be my favorite one. I'm thinking they were sisters, maybe? She looks like she's in some kind of uniform. Isn't that just so interesting? See, and that was a postcard. That might go in my journal series of the Little Women. This one I just thought was a beautiful, uh, like, sepia-toned postcard. It's blank on the back. This one was a happy birthday. 
and that is blank on the back. Ah, oh, I love this. <laughs> this reminds me of something my Nana would have picked up. Hearty greetings. I wish I lived next door to you. I'm going to put this in a journal. I can't wait. <laughs> My favorite are the postcards that have writing on the back. And this one is stamped 1915. So, wow. I mean, I, I feel privileged just to hold on to some of this stuff. Poppy, Poppy's in the other room. He's a little jealous. Anne Hathaway's Cottage. And that was sent in 1957. All right, this postcard. Hold on, I'm going to take care of Poppy real quick. Okay, I'm back. That bird is a spoiled rotten mess, I'm going to tell you. Okay, back to this postcard. I'm going to tell you, this is, this has to be the road that leads you to Harlan's mom and dad's house. <laughs> Because when it snows, I'm going to tell you, there's a red barn slash house right on the road that leads you all the way through these mountains and valleys to Harlan's mom and dad's house, like way over there. I, I am saying that this is the road. <laughs> it probably isn't. I plan on keeping this one. It is a scene in Vermont. And the odd thing is, is... He is from Vermont. His parents and family live in Vermont, and we live in Virginia. So how odd is that, right? So it does have a little letter. I plan on keeping this one. This one says best wishes. Greetings from a dear friend. All of these will be so, so pretty in journals. This one I thought was kind of odd, <laughs> but cute all in the same time. Maybe because I have a weird sense of humor. But I picked him up. I looked him up on eBay because he's so different. I'm going to show you a picture of how much this little guy is worth. <laughs> but I totally plan on using him in a journal. There's the back of this postcard. And then again this one. And again, this one reminds me of something my Nana would have picked up. It's called The Proposal at Home. How sweet is that? And that's the back of that postcard. So I love postcards. I love vintage photos. And in most of these, everything except for the Vermont one will be in a journal in the future. So we will put that with the little cameo. And then I picked these up. These are just flashcards of Sea Life. And I love putting uh, different kinds of cards in my journals. And these had some really fun pictures. And I'm like, there's Nemo. <laughs> Sorry about the glare. There's a light right above where we're sitting at my desk here. Look, Nemo. And then, of course, they have what it is on the back and on some information. They have a crab. Ooh, scary stuff. Scary stuff. Pretty fish. Eek. An octopus. A whale. Oysters. These are delicious. So all kinds of uh, sea life flashcards. Starfish. They had a pretty sea, uh, seahorse in here. There we go. So maybe some kind of um, nautical journal in the works here with these cards. A little sea turtle. A manta ray. A manta. Oh, sorry. 
Lord knows you don't want to come in contact with one of those things. There's another seahorse. Isn't that so pretty? Ooh, a lionfish. A barracuda. A blowfish. So, all of those little cards will go in some type of nautical journal. Just set those aside. And then look at this. <laughs> I've been looking and looking and looking for one of these boxes. This is a Betty Crocker's recipe card library. Let me raise you up again so that you can see. Now the box is not in that great of condition. However, the cards were pretty, pretty cool. All of these are recipe cards. They are dated 1971, so these are before I was born. I totally want to make a series of like uh, recipe book journals, cookbook journals, and um, I just think that that would be so much fun. And so all of these cards can go in like junk journals or the other type of journals I just mentioned. There's so many different recipes on a really neat size card to put in pockets. I've been looking for a box like this for some time, and I got this box for $5. <laughs> I was so excited. This was one of my first finds when I first got there. There's all of these blank cards at the back so that you could t write out your own recipes. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I even saw they had handwritten a couple of little things. Whoever owned this before. Yuletide toffee squares. Handballs and tangy sour cream sauce. That sounds kind of good. Ooh, pumpkin bread. So I love sharing recipes in my journals. Ooh. Delicious. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> so uh, I will be passing these along in my future journals. These are very interesting. Here's some of the stuff that I saw in the box. I don't know what all of this is. Sharpeners. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's someone's personal information. A plane ticket. You never know what you're going to find in, in all of this. Ooh, a photograph of someone's birthday cake. Aww. There's no names in or anything on that. Let's see what they cut out of the magazine. Ooh, tax news. Ugh, I just got my personal property tax bill from my for my business in the other day so oh there's a photograph of some people oh coupons so I love going through stuff like that anyway this was five dollars and I look forward to sharing it all with you in journals or if someone wants to exchange like uh, snail mail packages Maybe we could do some exchanges if you're looking for some ephemera like this. Let's move on to see what we got next. This was called Rate Your Mate. <laughs> we played this on the way home just a little bit. But it's a game of little cards that say Rate Your Mate. And I guess you earn points. And there's tons and tons of cards in here. Look at all of these cards. It's both sides of that little tray. But what is your mate's favorite breakfast? Where would your mate most likely go if he or she were hungry? When your mate comes home intoxicated, does he look for a little action? <laughs> Forget I read that one. I should have gone through these first. 
What does your mate lose most often? What was your most embarrassing moment while with your mate? So see how fun these can be? I love putting these in little pockets and journals. It's okay, Harlan. Go ahead and walk through. <laughs> Say hi, Harlan. Hi. <laughs> I'm trying to be quiet. You're fine, honey. Walk through. So there's tons and tons of these cards on both sides. I got this for a dollar. Okay, I'm back. I just took a time out with Harlan. So that was that game, and that was a dollar. So I look forward to putting cards like this. I think they are super fun in the journals. Then we have all of these books. And I got all of these books for $2. We have a Herbs and Spice, the Home Garden Book of Herbs and Spices. Look at that paper. Oh my goodness. I loved that. This was printed, let's see, in 1952. So it has all of these little recipes in it. Hmm. That kind of looks like a quilt block, right? <laughs> so we got that book. Hints for homemakers. Look at that paper. Oh my goodness. So they have cool little uh, tips for homemakers in here like make your own delicious syrups for pancakes and waffles. Boil equal parts of water, brown, and white sugar. Pack your lunch if you work away from home. You'd be surprised how much money you save over a period of several months. That's the truth. When was this book printed? 1973. I guess things have not changed. <laughs> so I look forward to using these pages in the journals. We got the work basket. And this is a little paperback book. Look at these ads. Oh. See, I love stuff like this. Yarn ads. Little instruction and patterns for uh, let's see, I guess that is knitting. Aww. Ooh. So I look forward to going through this, like just sitting down and looking. Look at all of these ads. Yes, I love that. So we got that one and we got another one. September 1988 and then uh, we got landscaping with flowering perennials. I am not good with flowers but I love the pictures of flowers that are in this book. So if you did some kind of botanical themed journal I would love to use that. Food formulation feed division this was a bunch of recipes that are hand typed it looks like. American pizza, cocktail pizza. Ooh, orange glazed pork chops. Yum. So I really loved the paper that these were on and again this will be in some kind of recipe journal or cookbook. This, I think, was missing the cover, but again, it's like another one of those types of needlework magazines. All kinds of neat vintage ads. The Sketch and Sewing Book. Yes. Let's see when this was printed. Look at that picture. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to make a journal out of this. I'm sorry, I get really excited. Look at that. Ooh, this was in 1974. Ooh, what's this? A 
Wow. Ooh. All kinds of neat images. Ooh, look at those ladies. Ladies slacks and shorts. Hmm. Aw, oh, they have someone's handwriting. They they use the book to make clothing. Aw. Oh. I would love to see the clothing they made using this book. All kinds of neat images to, to use in books. So yes, we got that one. And then uh, also for the same $2. I got a Singer Quilted Projects and Garments. And this has all kinds of awesome pictures in it. I've already flipped through. All kinds of ideas. Look at that quilt. Yes. If y'all have been watching any of my videos from about a year ago, I talked about a mystery quilt. This right here is called a sampler. My mystery quilt that I've been working on the pattern for quite some time is a sampler. So if uh, you love doing quilts like this, stay tuned. I'm still working on a pattern for that. And then here is a Southern Living Annual Recipes book. It's a hardbound book. And I got it because it's 1992. <laughs> That's the year I graduated. But they have some really cool recipes in here and one of them I will probably never find that page while we're on camera but it was like after taxes recipes <laughs> it was like bean soup and <laughs> like everything about beans so you get oh here we go after taxes banquet for the burdened <laughs> right in the red chili over rolling in the dough biscuits, bean counter soup, bring home the bacon, avocado dip. Ooh, that sounds good, avocado dip. So, yep, I look forward to sharing all of these recipes and images in my journals. And that is all of those books that I got for $2. Let's see. We got... Fiddle strings for my, I call it a violin, Harlan calls it a fiddle. <laughs> We're back and forth on that, but fiddle strings for my fiddle. I bought a violin at Goodwill about a year ago, and it came in a nice case, and the violin is beautiful. And uh, one or two of the strings were broken, and we are just now getting strings for it, and I so want to learn how to play the fiddle. <laughs> All right. Ta-da! Look at this. Oh my goodness. I got this for $5. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. We're going to open it up together and see what's in here. I'll bring you closer again. Sorry, I keep moving the camera. We got... All kinds of buttons. Whoa, I'm dropping them everywhere. There we go. Focus. Buttons. All kinds of buttons. There is another. It looks like she might have color coded them. These are all clear and white. These are all metal buttons. Hmm, that's interesting. Again, ooh, there's some little baby, baby, baby buttons in there. I love buttons that are still on cards because I put these in my sewing journals as ephemera and to share little bits of things with you. So we have a whole jar full of buttons that are on cards. I haven't opened this up yet, so I, who knows what is in here. We have little wiggly eyes. 
metal buttons. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, look at those. Hmm, that's interesting. Aw, one little button on a card. Wood buttons. Lip. Oh, I'm not going to even try and pronounce that. So, yep, I look forward to putting all of these. Lucky day. Putting these little cards in my sewing journals and sharing them. This is what really caught my eye. Wow, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I wish these cards had dates on them. This is a ton of cards in this jar. Ooh, these are pretty. Baby blue buttons. Oh, those are pretty too. And our last card out of the jar. Wow. That is a lot of buttons. Look at all of this. And I got all of that for $5. This was one of my super exciting finds for the day. I don't think I'm going to try to put all of those back in the jar right this second. <laughs> but I do want to make space because I'm going to bring something back. Now I had a conversation with Miss Joanne earlier <laughs> on Facebook <laughs> about my book. And she... was very sad that I was going to open my book. So if you do not want to see me open my book, we'll say bye now. <laughs> bye, Miss Joanne. I'm trying to make some space back up here. That book I found, where is it? We're back to this. I found this for $5. I will show you what some people have it listed for on eBay, right here. However, I'm pretty sure that it will not sell for that. I'll show you some pictures of books just like this that have sold right now. And um, these are recent sales and they're like in the $30 range. I spent $5. and. I'm going to open this up. I am dying to see what is inside this book. So I'm just going to cut the plastic. Joanne, if you're still watching, hold your breath. <laughs> Let me raise this back up. This is a leather bound book, brand new condition. It has raised spine, see that? Oh, and it feels so lovely, oh my goodness. Little Women is one of my all time favorite stories. That's really why I bought the book. I don't think that I'd ever be interested in just reselling this book. Uh, I do think that I plan on making this into a journal. Do not hate me. <laughs> but if you love little women, I do think I'm going to use this as a cover for a journal. Yikes. So let's do the big reveal and see the silk lined pages. Yes, they are silk. And it's hard to see the sheen 
in this room. But look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Collector's edition bound in genuine leather. The Easton Press. Oh. Let's see. Copyright renewal 1975. <laughs> Little women. Oh, they do. They have pictures in here. Ooh, and the paper feels so nice. Wow. They have illustrations. Let's see if there's one on the back of that page. Oh, that's it. Oh, look. That's when they were talking about the boy neighbor across the way. Oh, there's all kinds of illustrations in this book. Oh, look. Let's flip through and see if there's any more color pictures. Whoa. Oh, this is their, um, the little newspaper that they would make. That they'd all read, I guess, in the attic. Yep, there's another one. Oh my goodness. There's a ton, ton, ton of illustrations in this book. Oh, that's when Beth died. So, yes, I'm sorry, Miss Joanne. I opened the book. I'm so glad I did, though. <laughs> It was five dollars but look how much joy is bringing me right okay and that's the back again it's got the silk lining if I do make this into a journal I will leave probably these blank pages and most certainly the silk lining on the inside and then use a lot of the illustrations throughout the book and the journal those pretty gold pages. So I did it. I opened it up. <laughs> Don't hate me forever. And be nice in the comment section. As I am a little sensitive. But those were all of my finds from today. I think we did really, really well. And uh, I could not wait to come home and share this. I know this is a different kind of video. and uh, But look, it is sewing related. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll even incorporate those buttons into a quilt. Thank you all for watching. I would love to hear what you have to say about all my finds. And uh, I look forward to making some journals with all of my findings really, really soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.